24 hour Le Mans race. I'm taking you now for one lap at the famous 24 hour circuit at Le Mans, uh, just to show you what we're doing behind the steering wheel. We're just about to start the first lap. So we are entering the start finish straight, passing some cars, which is quite normal for this type of racing. You know, we have multiple class racing, passing always slower cars during a 24 hour race. It's very difficult with managing the traffic, one of the most critical parts for a driver. And now we are just going through the Dunlop Bridge into the S's. Very fast corner, very fast section of the circuit. Also quite difficult because you have a lot of tarmac changes on the ground. Now entering Tetri Rouge, really fast corner in fifth gear. And now we have the first time a long straight line. It's called the Hunodia straight. And this is one really fast section where we reach the first time over 300 kilometers per hour. We reach 335 kilometers per hour just before the braking zone. Heavy braking now, entering right hand in fourth gear, left hand in third gear. Now accelerating again with all the power of the 919 hybrid. So in total we have about 900 horsepower on the acceleration, 500 from the combustion engine, and over 400 from the electric motor on the front wheel, on the front axle. Driving on these straight lines gives us the opportunity to communicate with the pits. It's very different to other racetracks where we don't have these longer straight lines. This is also one of the reasons why we can stay quite long in the car, so one stint in the night probably will be between three and a half and four hours. So this is quite demanding still, but with these long straights we actually can relax a little bit, can have a drink, and then we can communicate to the pits.